yourself in full. Yo guys, good morning and welcome back to a new video. So as you can see, we're here at Global and Luke's being a giant pain in the bum. Now, we've got Chris, the owner over here, and he's just informed me that they're going out tonight in Dublin for a night out. And guess what? He has bought no overnight bag, no clothes, no nothing. Have you even got the phone charger? No. <laughs> he's got nothing. Guys, so the context of today's video is we are making a little trip to BD Performance. These guys are going to be selling some cars. We're going to be going up in the V6 Audi that sounds just like a GTR. Look at this, Mark 3 RS. You've got the Mark 8. Fiesta ST180, BMW 1 Series, the Audi. Is that the S3 or the RS3? Not quite sure. Guys, I can appreciate that this is one hell of a car, but that color choice, I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comments what you think of this beast. We need to get a move on. Chris is procrastinating about not having any clothes, but yeah, guys, we're gonna have a sick little day. And we'll join you once we've got in the beast. Give us a cold start, Chris. Guys, this thing is an absolute ripper. Sounds like a GTR. Yeah, boy. Good morning. <laughs> Get in the back of the car where you belong. Not doing very well on the old lighting, are we, Christopher Grout? Heading off to Wrexham. Here we are, on the way to Wrexham. We see her in Skyline. Hello, mate. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. First port of call. Three little fat boys off to McDonald's. I'm having a lovely time trying to sleep. You know how difficult it is to sleep when you're on the dual carriageway. And then we have a little bit of a swap around so that Chris, who was driving, is no longer driving. <laughs> it's no longer driving. <laughs> hey, <laughs> 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 oh, it's on for good. Following Chris and Darren in the RS, the purple RS. What horsepower is that running then, George? The 440. It's a 440. When I drove it, it was on mid to high boost, not high boost. Okay, cool. So, um, well, this is going to be very interesting, isn't it, guys? Let's see what happens here. We'll let, um, let the car warm up first. It's got a nice little flutter, isn't it? Yeah, it does. It's cool. That looks very appealing, that car in front of the RS. Obviously, I've already driven this car, already been on the channel, but I've been bragging about this thing to Luke for the last couple of days. He's literally like, and obviously it since I went out of George's car, he's like, Luke, because you're going to have to BD, you've got to go out of there, so it'd be good to get a full up reaction. <laughs> noise is our sponsor, I've got to say. We'll see what Chris down in front will have a little play with as well, which is cool. Has he said what he can compare this to as of like what he's done? Has he raced anything or is it like a car? 
car, you can compare the power to so the viewers can see. No, that. I mean, let, let, let's, let's be honest, it's a front wheel drive car, so if you set this in first gear, you're not going to get a lot out of it. But I'll tell you now, I, I, I'm not, I've exaggerated the same as you know anyone else out there, but when it comes to this particular thing, I'll tell you right now, in the right gear, this car's Ferrari fast. It's unreal, it really is unreal. I've come 208 miles, me today, just to get this video here for you guys. We'll do a full review, like a full professional, officially gas star review at some point in the future. But obviously it's just a, yeah, we come up for a bit of fun today. We've had a an ordeal to say the least without getting into detail on the way of coming up here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head off to Demon Tweaks now and show you guys what a real race car shop is really like. Uh, I'll be trying to order book the seats and get to Yeah, but that Focus R race ahead of us has got nothing compared to this thing, mate. Nothing. Still, still a quick car, a lovely car. That's cool. So good. Demon Tweaks, let's go take a look. These are the two bad boys that we've rocked up with today to Demon Tweaks. Darren from BD Performance, Chris and Luke, Demon Tweaks. Luke, where are we, mate? Checking out what's going on. All this race car gear. When we eventually go on track and do things properly here on the channel, this is the kind of place we're going to have to be to be buying some equipment. Anyway, guys, I don't, need, I don't need to go into detail, but we just had a bit of stress this morning. But yeah, that's about it. Just having a nice look round while we're here. Oh, how sick is this? So, this is basically Demon Tweaks. Can you come say hello for once? So this is the videographer of BD, the secret behind all of their quality videos. But yeah, he's going to be getting a YouTube channel sorted soon. But yeah, we're just here doing the typical YouTube thing, having a look around, all of these parts up here. Guys, places are dreams. Just to think, if the channel grows enough, this is the kind of place that we could be spending so much more time doing so much more things to the car. But yeah, look, Miltech boxes. Oh my gosh. Look at all these wheels. like your clutch. Lots of bits going on here as well as all of these seats. 
Look at nice there. Look at this magnificent piece of kit. I drop it, I pay for it. So I will not be dropping this. That's in case you were wondering, 618 quid for a helmet. Oh my god. 1,100. Oh my gosh. The money. Guys, Chris just questioned as to whether this was a genuine carbon fiber wheel. And I won't show you him, but the guy behind the desk just answered between 15 and 17 grand for oh, this. Wait. That is absolutely ridiculous. Maybe in the future, maybe in the future. Day out at BD unless you hit up the noodle bar. Represent, Tritar Noodle Bar is the one. Guys, this is the most amazing thing you can get while here in Wrexham. The Tri Noodle Bar is just, oh, amazing. Guys, it has been a nice day at BD, but what do we have in these boxes? I just thought I'd run you through them so you'd have a bit of an idea what's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks here at BD Performance with my Focus ST. But in this box we have an M factory differential. So I will show you what this looks like. I'm sure you're not going to see much. This is an M factory. This is a M factory LSD. It's going to be nice and allow me to put all this power down to the floor. But more importantly, guys, put that onto the side just for two seconds. You will see that in here we have that paddle clutch from RTS. This piece of kit right here is the best part of £1,000. Here you go, guys. Naughty, naughty toys for the ST. Guys, as you know, I've taken a little day trip to BD Performance and we've been having some fun already. Now, you've already seen me drive in the purple RS. The Mark II 500 brake one is over here, but I have just met a close friend of BD Performance and he has a Volvo. Now, to those of you that know, these Volvos basically have the same engine as our cars, the STs. They're just on a, pretty much a different shell, slightly different setup. But this is exactly why this gentleman here, if you would like to introduce yourself, is taking me out in his little car. Uh, so I'm Alex. You're Alex, same, same name as my brother, yeah. so I approve. George and Alex, there we go. So what has this beast got under the hood that we don't know about? <laughs> Quite a bit. Yeah? It's a uh, standard block, okay. with block mod, mm -hmm. uh, RS turbo, okay. standard RS turbo, not hybrid. Okay. Uh, Cyvex crossover, which is custom. It's got a LSD, RS clutch, um, and case port brakes. That's Sick, it. basically. Yeah. yeah, guys, so pretty much this is the, uh, the equivalent of a Focus ST with the big fat brake setup and an RS turbo. Fair enough? Yeah, on yeah. Awesome's Dyno, it pulled 398. Wow. And then on another one, it was 401. Yeah, so I've been told by the boys that I need to go out in this car. Darren, have you got anything to say about this before I go in it? Listen, you pair of poshies, get in the car for God's sake, would you? I've got work to do. Hey guys, there we go. So Callum, if you're watching this video, apparently you've already met Alex. Uh, Callum has a Volvo too, and is kindly keeping up to date with my build here on YouTube too. But yeah, we're gonna go out for a little short hoon and see what the, uh, what are the specifics of this car, what's it called? Uh, Volvo S40 T5. There we go, so it comes with what, 225 brakes? Down the 220. Okay. Five less until about the faceless version where they came with 230. I do like guys, like what I'll show you quickly, is they do have a pussy handle right here. <laughs> George needs a pussy handle, all right? So do you need to warm up a car like this then in the same way that you would do with my SD? Because I know that I'm very anal about warming up. Yeah, it's, I, I, I run the torque app via a direct USB. What have you got down here? They're uh, focals. Which means? Speakers. Okay. So you can see it just behind the gate. Well, I knew there was a speaker, but I didn't know what that meant. It's a crossover. Okay. I've just got them exposed, whereas you probably... Guys, I will show you, because I can... Uh... Yeah, he's got uh, a lot of tech in this car. There's <laughs> gauge over there, too. Nice. Uh, it's running BCs. And it's the same as mine. Fully yeah. polybushed. Okay. Oh, Mine's okay. not quite fully polybushed just yet. As yeah, you know, it's expensive, so just... <laughs> the only one I haven't done is the engine mount. I've done those. I hard fly. race top two, air tech lower. Uh, okay, I've got uh, some hard race lower. Big bangs, what exhaust? Uh, three and a half inch downpipe to three inch all the way through. So just custom? Yeah. Okay. Uh, by BD. By BD? Yeah. Same 
chassis. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. Yeah, it's much more comfortable than my bucket seats. Yeah. <laughs> Stripped out rear and everything. I need to pull some ridiculous face like this. <laughs> oh, I feel like the thumbnail. It's <laughs> <laughs> the traffic. That's the make. It's uh, yeah. about 700 euros. Christ Almighty, that's a lot of money. <laughs> it's, it's dear, but it's worth it. It's a full Android system. You can quite literally, you can even play Flappy Bird on it. That's it. It's it's simple. Uh, it does all the nav. I've got Maps, Google Maps, Android Auto, everything. Awesome. I've got a little built-in hotspot that okay. lets me connect to the internet. That's pretty sick. Um, nice. What more do you need? Right, you don't have to tell me, and this bit can be cut out of the video, but you want to remind everyone on the, on the channel what you do for a living? Because <laughs> there's a lot of boys with a similar sense of humour to I me. I sell bovine genetics. Yeah. Sorry, I don't sell, I distribute bovine genetics. You What, you literally distribute? No, no, store and that. Oh, so yeah, we've yeah. got frozen, <laughs> frozen straws. Yeah. They get Man. distributed to farmers up and down the country. Love it. Promise you, when he watches this video, next time I'm here, he'll let me have a go because I would have earned his respect. You need to go find out what the channel's all about and then you'll see what it is that I get up to. There is no one that is obsessed with STs myself on the internet honestly ridiculous no you can be obsessed with Volvos well this what people keep saying is that it's a good way to market to a new audience it's well, you need it's the V50 the all wheel drive that converts it isn't it that's some of the ST all wheel drives unreal but they make one and that's it that rumble that cannon on the back is it's crazy can you give it a huge rev when you're in here just piss everyone off in it yeah right now, right now. <laughs> Guys, now just before I show the engine bay, these speakers were 700 quid. You don't need no sun. But this Volvo is mad. But yeah, this, oh wow. Speedy performance engine um, oil breather kit and everything. And then, but, and you can put that on if you want. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is crazy. So yeah, if you don't want to get an ST, and maybe you want something with equal power, but maybe less on the insurance, I suppose this might be a good option. It's a very good option. Because they're going to be crashed less often, surely. Stolen less often, but too. safer. Well, there you go. We have this massive bar behind here, which makes it really hard to fit any bigger intercooler. Mate, this is a really underneath. cool car. This is really nice. Look at these guys. Semi-slicks. Big brakes. Mate, um, so we need to set up a GoFundMe, and maybe the... <laughs> yeah, honestly, I need to uh, get my car to anywhere near this level. But yeah, this is cool, because it's so inconspicuous. The battery's been relocated to the boot. I can tell. Batch is gone, lots of space. Yeah, we're looking at building an aluminium intake box and then connect it to some of the funnels going in. Nice. Just to keep cold air flowing. This is cool, man. This is cool. Do you happen to have an Instagram when you do anything car related? Not really? Uh, I've never no. really been on social media. Because there's a lot of people that obviously would like to follow stuff like this and obviously if you are doing regular updates and stuff, it's always nice to keep up to date. So guys, in case you're wondering, there's obviously a lot more basic in here than um, the Focus ST, but I suppose in ways this is what makes it so appealing. It's comfortable to be in, it's inconspicuous. But then when you've got boost gauges like this, 700 pound door speakers, and a crazy ECU in the middle, which no doubt is going out of focus. And then an engine bay like this, madness. But honestly, mate, Alex, thank you very much for taking me out. I'm sure everyone will be very grateful to have seen something as cool as this. But yeah, he doesn't have any socials, guys, so unfortunately I can't plug him in this respect. But when I come up in the future, I'm sure we'll uh, see you again. Yeah. But yeah, that was cool. GCM seal of approval. 100%. Guys, so I'm now leaving BD Performance, but I want to let you know. So I'm basically in one of the trade cars that Chris has basically received off of a customer. But it's funny because it's a manual Golf 1.4, but it's got what looks like a Golf R steering wheel with flappy panels that you, I know you can't see, but they don't do anything. So it's yeah. No SG, George. No, it's SG. no it's, SG. It's, it's upscaling, up from. upscaling to the best level. But guys, I have a best part of four and a half hour drive now, which sucks. But I need to get it done. Um, today, technically, I'm at work because I'm working for Chris today doing this car. I came up here, filmed a video with the boys, and we're going to be back here a week on Friday to do M Factory Diff that you just saw and uh, Paddle Clutch, and then maybe something else. We don't know. But either way, M Factory Diff and Paddle Clutch are coming soon. Guys, thank you very much. I'll have a little chat with you as we leave now. 
and uh, yeah, I guess this is this is it from BD for a couple days. So yeah, as always, they're linked in the description section. So if you want to go check them out, you can. Failing that, just subscribe to me because you know. No, subscribe to me. Oh, I'm best. Better. Oh, shut up. See you Darren. later, George. Safe Fine. journey. See you later. Bye bye. It's been lovely. I mean, what can I say? Right, um, this is gonna be long, I can tell. Guys, basically, it's just nice to be in a non-modified car, you know? Something that doesn't take too much effort to drive, something that's a little bit more uh, cheap on my old wallet. But yeah, it's just nice to be driving something that's placid and relaxing, you know? Stick the radio on, cruise, adaptive cruise control, get home with ease, rather than pop, pop, bang, and uh, lots of fuel. But yeah, guys, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna drive home, get this done, I'm going to end the video here, but I appreciate you all, as always, for tuning in. It didn't go as planned, but I suppose if you're amazing, stick a like on the video if you haven't already. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And I guess consider subscribing if you're new, because you won't regret it. It's all fast forward content and modified car related madness. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know. Stick around and we'll see you guys in the next one. But for now, I'm going to head home. But yeah, as always, roll the outro. Stay from the tree.